Alright guys, so, <clears throat> let me start off by saying that I, I got woke up earlier, way earlier than expected this morning, and I am a bit sick, partially because of the insane weather, so my voice is probably really, really messed up sounding, so I apologize for that, and I'll try to keep this little anger-laden rant as short as possible. So, Something that's been going on throughout the fandom, literally, well really, since the Alicorn rumor started and it just kind of exploded ever since the episode, is little fan comics and headcanons and just the general idea of Twilight is now somehow immortal and she's going to have to go through the pain and misery of watching her friends grow old and die while she stays forever youthful. And these things piss me off to no end. <coughs> Excuse me. The reason for this is, and I even typed myself up a little note thing, and I'm not even going by it, but I'm still not awake, so I apologize for that. We have no evidence throughout the show that Alicorns are, in fact, 100% completely freaking immortal. Yes, I understand that Celestia and Luna are apparently well over a thousand years old. But that's still not evidence that they're immortal. Let's also keep in mind that Celestia and Luna, Celestia especially, far surpass your average alicorn, or just any magic user, really. I mean, seriously, think about it. Their job, basically, is to raise the sun and moon. That has to take a shit ton of magical power. I mean, seriously. <coughs> Excuse me. Also, if you pay close attention to the season finale, when Celestia turns Twilight into an alicorn, what she seems to do, if you pay attention to the little magical aura thing, is it looks like she pretty much extracts part of Twilight's freaking DNA and then uses that to create the wings. Again, really, really powerful magic. This is like god-level powers. So if we keep that in mind, then the idea of them maybe, I don't know, using age spells isn't that far out there. Twilight even mentions in Magical... Magic Duel, excuse me, that age spells, well, we know that they exist, but they're for the highest level unicorns only. And I think it's safe to say that Celestia and even Luna fall into this category. Another bit of evidence supporting my little argument here is Cadence. She is, in fact, an alicorn, but we see her seem to age normally. In Twilight's flashback, of, uh, you know, her remembering when Cadence was her full sitter, or I, I think that was the term that was used. Cadence looks, in, you know, terms of size and everything, she looks like your average normal pony. Of course, now, suddenly, she's, like, a lot thinner and taller, and I'm not really sure how that worked out, but... We also have to keep in mind that how ponies age is still kind of up in the air, so... The biggest thing with this is that there are too many little factors and details that we don't have, and probably never will get, that makes it very difficult to figure out any of this. My point is... There is no evidence to support that Twilight is going to, in fact, have to deal with watching her friends die. If she has a choice in being immortal and she takes that, you know, and is just like, yeah, sure, let's do that, then, okay. And if she doesn't, then even better. And that's really all I have to say on the issue, is just, it's, it's something that's kind of irritated me since all of this started, that... You know, we take one tiny little thing and blow it freaking out of proportion. I mean, it's fine to have your head cannons, and it's fine to have, you know, your little ideas. And I'll be honest, some of the fan comics that came out going off of this little mindset 
are really, really good, and a lot of them have actually made me cry. And in terms of headcanons, it is something that's interesting to think about, that if Twilight were have to go through this sort of ordeal, how would she deal with it? Would she be able to handle it? Blah, 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 blah. It is nice to think about. But that doesn't mean that it's true, and a lot of people are acting like it's 100% fact that this is exactly what's going to happen. One thing that I hate bringing up, but it is true and we have to accept that, is that this is still technically a children's show. And I can't, part of me doubts that they're going to go ahead and throw in the whole concept of immortality and whatnot into a kid's show because that's too much for a small child to completely understand. But, and this is just my thought process of how the whole immortality thing could work in a positive light, a lot of kids' shows do like to attempt to tackle the idea of dealing with death. They usually do this in a very subtle manner, or go way over the top with it. And if we do have Twilight, you know, having to sit through her friends aging and then dying, it would probably be a good lesson to little kids that of, of how to properly deal with it. But for the type of show that My Little Pony is, I can't really see that happening. It's... There's a lot of complicated reasons as to why it would be really, really difficult to pull that off. Not to mention, I'm sure that parents would lose their shit over it if we actually had an episode like that. So, the likelihood of this happening is, is just very, 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 very low. And you know what? If it does, by some weirdness end up happening, all of you can come to my house and slap me for being wrong. Seriously. I'm totally open to it. But I really seriously highly doubt that this is going to happen, and I personally do not believe that alicorns are immortal. Not without some sort of external force assisting them in such, like age spells. So, yeah. I actually managed to keep this well under 10 minutes, so, <clears throat> yeah, that's, that's all I've got to say on this one.